former Borough favourite Steve Norris cracked in the opener. Just three minutes later, they were back on level terms thanks to an Andy Mockler header. Bizarre goal of the day from George Ogani coming up, and the wind gusts the clearance back into the Halifax box, and he makes the most of it. Now George is in the thick of it again. He's upended in the box as they both go through for the ball. He's not badly hurt, though. He gets up and slots it home from the spot. The fourth and final goal came from Lee Hurst, with just eight minutes left on the clock. Final score, 4-1. And I comfortably hold on to Ian Docker's shot from outside the box. Then Burrow was thrown into chaos when Dave Crown made his break through the middle. But Ian Ironside narrowed the angle and saved the day again. So when Gary Hemsworth cut inside from the left and put them ahead in the 74th minute, they looked on course for all three points. But it was a case of tails you win, heads you draw, as they failed to get it clear at the back. Peter Beadle got his name in the frame just six minutes from the end, and it finished one all. It's Northampton. Nice story here, a boy called John Reed on loan from Sheffield United. Knocking in the two goals, there's John That's following right. up there. Yeah. Well done for the first one. On loan from Sheffield United. You get down there, Harry, get on the old blower and get him back. I think you might need him before the season's out. Because he certainly takes this goal very well indeed. Keeps his balance. Very cool. Well taken goal. A bit of a shock result for the league leaders there, that. Huh? I'm, I'm sure there Theo won't be enjoying that Barclays bubbly today. He will today. not. He will not. Shot. Darren Foreman on loan from Crew put them one up. And when John Reed makes his presence felt in the box, there's the hand of Mark Ogley to block the way. George O'Garney decided to leave the spot kick to Andy Mockler, and it turned out to be a wise decision. Well, there's some sad news from the fourth division as well tonight, with Darlington's David Corner being forced to quit the game because of a knee injury. The former Sunderland defender is just 24 years old. I couldn't park my... But John Fashion, who's all frightened, the keeper, that is. Darren Foreman grateful that Tommy Mooney had followed in for the lead. Foreman got his goal in the second half of a bruising battle that saw two Rovers players sent off. Scarborough are now level with Hartlepool, who powered back to life at Maidstone. Two brilliant goals by Brian Honour inspired the pool. The first was a mere practice run. Scarborough had the unenviable task of trying to wreck Stockport's unbeaten home records. Andy Mockler almost set them on their way. But a blunder by keeper Ian Ironside in first half injury time when he failed to collect the free kick let in Neil Matthews for County's first. Rough justice for Ironside who'd been outstanding until then. Then they were caught out again 20 minutes after the break. Andy Kilner races away from Alan Kamara, gets his cross in and it's Matthews in the middle to complete his personal double. They looked home and dry, and when the Seasiders failed in front of goal, it looked as though they'd captured all three points. Tommy Mooney hits the post, and Lee Hurst somehow puts it wide. But with 12 minutes on the clock, a copycat goal from Borough pulled one back. Remember last week when John Reed's shot was palmed away by the keeper for a Mooney tap-in? Well, it worked again. The equaliser was well worth waiting for, and this time on loan striker Reed finished the job himself with a perfect bit of positioning. The question is, will Scarborough be able to make the teenagers move permanent? So Scarborough... The playoffs. No doubting Scarborough's playoff credentials after this super show against second place Peterborough. Tommy Mooney's powerful header put the Seasiders on their way after 19 minutes. But 10 minutes later, Posh retaliated. Worrell Sterling testing Ian Ironside, but Pat Gavin had the presence of mind to turn and stab in the equaliser. Peterborough hadn't lost in 13 games, but they had no answer to a sensational three-minute salvo from the Borough just before half-time. Mooney got his second with a scorching effort. And the crowd hardly had time to get over that one before John Reed served up another superb goal. Tying the defender in knots before chipping in a swerving shot the keeper Paul Bradshaw never expected. All over by half-time, but Scarborough's promotion hopes are really taking off now.